Hello there, this is Sophia from sophiaoja.com. Today I got a question on my blog post number 24 where I show you how you can have multiple ConvertKit forms on your Squarespace website. So I made another video where I showed how you can have three different um, ConvertKit pop-ups that you can have side by side and I explained all the details. They come from three different buttons, right? So at the end of this blog post, um, I see a comment from Adama and she says, Hey Sophia, I will study your guide and implement this over the weekend. Thank you so much. I really like your teaching style. Thank you very much. <laughs> Always love to hear that. I'm a newbie and you're easy to follow and understand. Wonderful. Also, I was wondering if you have any blog posts or tutorials on how to trigger a modal pop-up ConvertKit with Squarespace when an image is clicked on. So this is an important question and on WordPress it's uh, fairly easy to do. Um, and on Squarespace I had not yet um, done it. So because of this question from uh, Adama, I hope I'm saying your name correctly, um, I was inspired to find a solution. I always get uh, excited when uh, there's a question that I don't know and I want to figure out how to solve it. So here we go. All right, so here you can see I'm in, in, the, back, in the back end of my Squarespace site. And this is the free dash resources page. Uh, basically, it's this page here for just testing um, how to have these modal pop-ups, right? So it's just a test page. It's not really delivering anything. So let's say instead of having your buttons leading to the Conver ConvertKit pop-up form, you want these particular images to do that. How do you do it? This is what I experimented with, and this is what I figure out. So first of all, you're going to need a piece of code. And exactly where you want the image to be clicked and open up to a form, you're going to enter a code block, or set up a code block, and add this piece of code here. So. Over here, you can see this part, it refers to your image URL, right? Where your image is hosted. So how do you find the URL of the image that you want to use? Let's say that you have already uh, embedded that image somewhere on your site, okay? So let's say I wanted to use uh, this particular image for my ConvertKit form to pop up. What you're gonna do is hover over it and right click and click on open image in new tab. So what happens is it opens up in a new tab and you can see this entire URL that pops up over here. That is what you need. So you copy this entire thing, come back to your back end where you enter this little piece of code, click edit and go over here and place that entire image URL and click on apply. So you'll see that it pops up right over here. But we're not done yet. There's one more step. You need to add your ConvertKit form. So now just go over into your ConvertKit account and grab the JavaScript of the modal form and place it over here, all right? Just make sure that the form settings are for a pop-up form. All right, that's it. Click Apply, Save, Refresh, and here you can see down over here, it should work. Click on it, and yes, the form is popping up. So that's how you make an image pop up a ConvertKit modal form. 
I have yet to experiment with it to see what happens when it, there are multiple images with modal forms. But if you have just one, you can use this method until I test out and see what happens with multiple forms. So that's it. Here you have an image that is popping a ConvertKit form for you. And um, you can make, make it happen for your website as well. Do put a link in the comments in the blog to show me how you have accomplished it. And I'd love to see how it all turns out. Thanks again. Thanks for watching. And thank you, Adama, for your question. And I wish you all the best. Bye for now.